Many people want to see the Jidai Matsuri Parade in Kyoto, but it's so crowded that they can't get a good view. And even if they do, they often don't know which part of the parade they're watching. Hello, I'm Shizuku, your Kyoto tour guide. Many visitors come all the way to Kyoto to see the Jidai Matsuri Parade, but struggle to fully enjoy it. In this video, I'll introduce you to uh, behind the scenes of the parade participants, the best spots to watch Jidai Matsuri you wouldn't want to miss, and unknown backgrounds of each historical parade. If you find this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Starting from the nearest subway station, Maridamachi Station's Exit 1, it's just a short walk to the closest western entrance of the Kyoto Imperial Palace, called Ainomachi Gate. The gate in this video is more centrally located, named Sakaimachi Imperial Gate. Let's step inside. Here's the peaceful Kyoto Gyoen Imperial Palace Garden. The Jidai Matsuri Parade proceeds along this broad avenue. You can see the Imperial Palace in the distance. That's the main gate, Ken Ryman, where the parade starts. Now, let's show you footage from the day. These are participants preparing for the parade, truly a precious sight. They're working hard. Even in October, wearing layers of kimonos can still feel quite warm. The parade starts in Kyoto Gyoen at noon, passes the Kyoto City Hall around 1.20 p.m., and arrives at Heian Shrine around 2.30 p.m. It's crowded everywhere on that day, but the most picturesque spot is Kyoto Gyoen. To secure a good viewing spot here, you should arrive between 6 to 9 a.m. However, most of the area near the starting point is taken up by paid seats, so you might have to stand. A good spot to stand or lay down a leisure sheet is near the exit at Sakaimachi Imperial Gate. The parade lasts for about two and a half hours, so finish using the restroom and ensure you have water beforehand. There are also paid seats near Oik Street by Kyoto City Hall and at Heian Shrine. Only Heian Shrine offers seats with English commentary. You can't spread a sheet on the streets around or in the Heian Shrine, so bring a portable chair or be prepared to stand. The area near the Heian Shrine is also crowded, but the approach to the shrine, Jingumichi, is relatively less packed. The Jidai Matsuri, Festival of Ages, is the grand festival of Heian Shrine, held annually on October 22nd. In the case of rain, the date is postponed. Leading the parade with the musical tones of flutes and drums played by the Meiji Restoration Royalist troops, around 2,000 participants form a procession that spans two kilometers. This parade traces history from the Meiji Restoration era back to the Heian period when Kyoto was first constructed. It's one of the three major festivals that represent autumn in Kyoto, the historical and traditional capital. Heian Shrine was established in 1895, and the Jidai Matsuri began as a ceremony to celebrate both its establishment and the 1100th anniversary of the transfer of the capital to Kyoto. The purpose of the festival is to showcase Kyoto's traditional craft techniques as a moving historical scroll to the public, displaying authentic costumes and ritual tools from each era based on historical research. However, the true significance of this festival is that this grand procession serves as a ceremonial parade accompanying the divine procession, Shinko Retsu. The divine spirits of emperors Kanmu and Komei, the deities enshrined in Heian Shrine, tour the city of Kyoto, observing the lives of the residents. It's a festival where the citizens of Kyoto unite to pray for peace. This is the true meaning of the Jidai Matsuri. To my regret, I was a bit late last year and missed part of the earlier procession. I'll explain the missed segments with images, I apologize for the inconvenience. Meiji Restoration Royalist Troops Procession this group marches to the upbeat rhythm of the military band, traditionally leading the parade. They represent the volunteers from the Tamba region in the northern part of Kyoto who joined the Imperial Army against the Shogunate troops during the Meiji Restoration. They wear hakama with a coat, a headband, tabi socks, sandals, and carry both swords and guns. 
The badges on their shoulders indicate their rank, reflecting the transitional period to a modern army. Meiji Restoration Patriots Procession At the end of the Edo period, Japan faced numerous domestic and foreign issues. However, the shogunate no longer had the power to address these challenges. Patriots like Sakamoto Ryoma and Seigo Takamori devoted themselves to the nation's cause, leading to the Meiji Restoration. In 1966, marking the centennial of Emperor Komei, this procession was added to honor these patriots. Tokugawa Envoys Visit to Kyoto Procession The Tokugawa shogunate would always send an envoy, the Tokugawa Castle Emissary, to Kyoto during significant imperial ceremonies and at the start of the year, showing respect to the imperial family. The Kago of Palanquin used here reflects the style from the end of the Edo period. Edo Period Women's Procession This section showcases notable women from Kyoto during the Edo period. Among them is Princess Kazunomiya, Emperor Komei's younger sister, who was married to Shogun Iiemachi for political unity. The parade depicts her at age 16 in her court attire. Other figures include the famous geisha Yoshino Dayu and Izumo no Okuni, considered the founder of Kabuki. From here it becomes a video. Toyotomi Hideyoshi's visit to the imperial court procession. During 1596, Toyotomi Hideyoshi's son, Hideori, had his first visit to the imperial court, and his coming-of-age ceremony the following year was especially grand. The vehicle, an ox-drawn carriage showcases the pinnacle of decorative style. Hideyoshi is inside this carriage. Oda Nobunaga's visit to Kyoto procession. Post the Anin War, Kyoto declined and the imperial court's glory diminished. In 1568, Oda Nobunaga, heeding Emperor Oogemachi's call, brought his troops to Kyoto, initiating renovations of the palace and reviving the city. This procession depicts Nobunaga's visit. Notably, the introduction of firearms in battles during this period led to the use of iron plates in armors. Kusunoki Masashirge's visit to Kyoto procession. In 1333, when the 96th Emperor Godaigo returned to Kyoto from exile in Oki Islands, Kusunoki Masashige and his clan welcomed him at Hyogo and led him to Kyoto. This procession focuses on Kusunoki in his splendid armor, carrying a magnificent katana. His brother, Kusunoki Masasue, also accompanies him. A highlight of this procession is the display of extravagant armors and weapons. Medieval Women's Procession The term medieval broadly refers to the period from the late Heian era to the Momoyama era. This procession showcases women from Rakuhoku Ohara known as Ohara women, women from Rakusai Katsura, known as Katsura women, and the historical figure Yododano, the consort of Toyotomi Hideyoshi and mother to Hideyori, dressed in her luxurious attire. Muromaki Shogunate Procession This procession depicts lightly armored samurai centered around the Ashikaga Shogun. The Shogun, riding a horse, is dressed in red armor with a cap, throat guard, and other accoutrements. Key clans appointed to administrative roles accompany him, as well as court nobles, monks, scholars, doctors, representing a unique cultural scene. Muromaki Kyoto Townsfolk Procession This procession recreates the elegant dances organized by wealthy Kyoto merchants in the late 16th century Muromaki period. The dance features a central dance, comprised of musicians under elegant umbrellas and an outer dance, made up of dancers. Historically, these dances involved flamboyantly dressed men and became a prototype for the Bano Dori dance of the Edo period. Jonin Yabusame Procession Yabusame is a horseback archery tradition from the Heian period, where archers shoot at three targets while riding. In 1221, Emperor Gotoba convened over 1,700 warriors from around the Kinki region for a grand Yabusame event at the Jonin Palace. Fujiwara Courtier's Procession This procession represents the splendor of the Fujiwara clan during its peak in the Heian era, depicting both civil and military officials. As the Tang influence waned, 
Japan developed its unique cultural identity. The procession displays the summer formal attire of high-ranking nobles. Heian Women's Procession As Japan's culture became more distinct following the discontinuation of envoys to Tang China, this procession illustrates the evolving women's fashion over the 400-year Heian period. It features famous women like Tomoe Guzan in her warrior armor, Sei Shonegan in a formal court dress, and Murasaki Shikibu in an informal attire. This is a portrayal of Ono no Kamachi, a famous female poet who served in the court, in ceremonial attire reminiscent of Tang styles, based on artifacts and statues. Enryaku Military Procession this procession depicts the triumphant return of General Sakana Weno Tamuramaro to Kyoto in 801 after his eastern campaigns. He's adorned in shiny golden armor with a golden blade, riding a horse with a red saddle, accompanied by servants with spears and bows. The attire is reconstructed based on artifacts and ancient tomb findings. Enryaku Civil Officials Procession Representing the scene from 796 when civil officials visited the imperial court for ceremonies, their attire, or mourning dress, varies in color according to rank. The Tang influence is still evident during this period. At the end of the entire festival, a representative from this procession offers a celebratory message to the deities. Sacred Offerings Procession This marks the beginning of the procession for the deities. These individuals are responsible for presenting offerings to the gods during the festival. Lead Procession This procession goes ahead of the main deity procession. It includes dancers and musicians in elegant attire, accompanied by many in hunting attire. Sacred Deity Procession Centered around the palanquins carrying the deities, Emperor Komei in the front and Emperor Kanmu in the rear, with priests accompanying both. Once a year, during this festival, the deities tour Kyoto to observe the peaceful state of the city. Shirakawa Women's Flower Offering Procession It's said the Shirakawa women have been delivering flowers to the imperial palace since the middle of the Heian period. Dressed in traditional attire, they carry flowers on their heads to offer before the deities. Archery Group Procession In the northern part of Kyoto, in Tanba, there were many skilled archers. They were said to have protected Emperor Kanmu during his move to Kyoto. Their descendants also formed an archery group during the Meiji Restoration. They've been responsible for guarding the deities since the inception of the festival. How was that? This is all the information I know about the festival. I hope this helps you understand better. Thank you for watching till the end. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe. Drop your comments below about places you'd like to see or enjoyed. I, Shizuku, will keep assisting your Kyoto trip. Stay tuned for the next video.